Hey, how's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips and in this video we are going to be learning how to get classic Doom working. So this is Doomsday Engine. So Doomsday Engine allows users to install a couple types of games and uh, this is a way that you can get the classic Doom game working in Linux, which is what we're going to be focusing on. There's also other kinds of games that you can get it working too, like it's got Heretic, and all of that. The main reason people want to use this instead of the official release from years ago on Linux for Doom is just because you can add 3D effects, you can add uh, land server discovery, and it works on the latest stuff instead of old, old technology. So to get started, you're going to want to go to the article or you can click the download button up here. And uh, you're going to want to download the dev package. Now in my article, I show you the command line way of doing it. For the sake of, you know, quickness, I'm just going to do it with my Q apt installer that I have on my system. And uh, we will let the package download and it will open up. All right, so now that my package is downloaded, I can install the app. And I should say really quick, if you use GDebi or uh, QApt, it's gonna tell you an older version is available in the software channel. Um, I really don't agree with that. I want new features and it's not like it's gonna break. The developers wouldn't release something that wasn't steady and ready to go. I, I get why they do that, but just ignore that warning if you see that. Anyways, once you get there, you can click the install button enter your password and the engine will install on all of the stuff that it needs then you click the close button look for doomsday engine in your in your uh, program don't launch shell make sure you launch two it'll say doomsday two and once you start this up it's gonna see it's gonna seem like there's nothing there and there's no game and that's just because we don't have this setup for the games working yet we have to set up the the wad files and we're going to do that uh, by opening up a terminal we can clear all these old commands out of the way. Exit root, you don't want to be in root for this. And uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to make a wads folder. So do this command here, I will zoom in. Uh, make dir dash p and then wads. You'll then need to use the wget downloading tool to grab the latest version of the shareware doom. Now what shareware means is, is that this is free to download and free to use. There's no licensing problems at all. It's, it's okay to grab. And uh, we can then move doom1 into our wads folder because I forgot to do that. Then just do unzip and then doom1. Hold on a sec. Don't forget to CD into your WADS folder first. Okay, so if we if we ls right here, we can see the doom1.wad is there. We can also remove the doom zip folder, clear this all out, and we just have the wad. Now we can go back to the doomsday engine here. Select the iWAD folder. Now this is where we go and we tell the program where our games are. So our game folder is right here. We click select. So now it sees Doom Shareware and we can play Doom. And if we had Heretic registered or Heretic Shareware or the, the, the registered retail version of Doom 1, 2, Ultimate Doom, Final Doom, or any of these Hexen games as well, you could play that as well. We, again, we're focusing on the Doom Shareware and you just click the play button and it's going to let you play Doom like pretty much, you know, just like regular video game. It's, it's that, that straightforward. Uh, so let's test it out. So yep, we are now playing Doom on Linux. Yeah, and uh, that's that. Let's go over here really quick. And that is how it works, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a quick tutorial on how you can play Doom on Linux with the Doomsday Engine. And uh, be sure to check the link in the description, and I will see you in the next video.